Hey guys, it's me again, and I am here with an empties video. I will go on ahead and tell you that this is a lot of candles. It isn't a lot of like miscellaneous stuff. It is just a lot of candles. So we're going to get into this. And first and foremost, I have one candle that is almost done. I'm going to do it first so I don't have to hold it to my next empties. But um, this, I hope it doesn't go out. This is London Tea and Lemon. And I love London Tea and Lemon. And I heard from a birdie that it is supposed to be coming back out for the spring. And I pray it does. It is a pure Lipton tea scent with a very fresh lemon. And not the lemon in Limoncello or sparkling Limoncello, whatever that is. It is just like a fresh squeezed lemon with really good pure tea bag, like a tea bag. It is amazing and it is a wonderful scent throw. Um, I would give this about an eight for scent throw when I walk down my hallway and like go into the bathroom or my kids room and I come back out into the hallway. I can smell it traveling down my hallway and I love when I get a candle that does that because as I've mentioned many times, I kind of lose my candle scents in this house and I really hate that. And I just, I love having a candle that gives me a really good scent throw. And that one is amazing. It is one that I would definitely pick up again. Um, it does have some sooting a little bit going on. And I have another candle that actually did some sooting as well. But we'll get into that. But you know what? Like, I don't even care. I love that candle so much that I will deal with the sooting to just smell it. It's amazing. Okay, so this is Peppermint Hot Chocolate. And I don't know if you can see, but this is a sooter. Sooted so bad. Like, I don't know why. The wicks were not crazy big. Um, they wasn't crazy small. They were perfect. And it burned completely down. But it had so much soot going on with this candle. And I actually have a lot of, like, mint chocolate scents. Like, mint latte. Um, peppermint marshmallow, which isn't really chocolate, but you know what I mean. Um, peppermint brownie. There's so many that I have, and it's just not my favorite, but I have so many of them that I feel like I, I have to start burning some of them, but I feel like they're all interchangeable. Like, if I burnt mint latte, it would just be the same as this, because to me, they all just kind of smell the same. So, it's just not something that I feel like is my absolute favorite, although I'm like, why do you keep buying them then? But, you know, you're just kind of grabbing at what's new. And if it's a new name and it's a little different of a scent note, you're like, I want it. Let me have it. I'm going to buy it. But um, anyways, so this is Cool Peppermint Silky Milk Chocolate Sweet Cream. It's okay. I think I'm going to give it about a six for a scent throw. I can smell it. it. Wasn't blow your socks off or anything. And I don't think it's something that I would pick up again. I did enjoy the color of the, the jar. This is one of my favorite colors. It's mint. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I just don't think it is a scent that I feel as though I would need to hoard or that I would need a backup of. But like I said, other than that, burn completely down, a lot of sooting. Next, we have one of my favorites. This is Chestnut and Clove. I love this scent. Um, when I first smelled this was like 2015. It came out as Thankful Chestnut and Clove. And I think I bought five or six of them and burned every single one of them. This is just so nostalgic for me. Um, it comes as like a Thanksgiving scent, a fall going into Thanksgiving and Christmas scent. Absolutely adore it. It is just spicy, but spicy in a way of, like it's not spicy as cinnamon. Do you know what I mean? Like it's spicy as, okay, I am going to have a sweet candle and like a spicy like, um, I don't even know the word, like a spicy, um, patchouli, not potpourri, potpourri type scented candle. So, you know, like when you go and you pick your candles and you're like, oh, I just burned a sweet candle, but now I need something a little different. That's what I mean when it comes to this, but it's so good. And it's just speaks Thanksgiving to me. Oh, it's wonderful. So it says warm roasted chestnut that you can get clove. So I guess clove could be spicy, but it doesn't come off as that really harsh clove, like cinnamon and clove buds. 
um, cedar wood. So I think that cedar wood is kind of toning it down and what's giving you that mellow between a chestnut and a clove. You get what I'm saying? Do you get my drift here? Don't know. Anyways, burned wonderfully. Sent those. Always amazing with this. I'm going to give it about a 7.5 out of a 10. I would always repurchase this scent. I love to burn one of these every year, at least one a year, normally around Thanksgiving time. This is almost like my Thanksgiving candle. Not fully, but I love having one around that time. Next, we have Mary Cookie. And guys, I feel like this might be my first or second Mary Cookie that I've ever burned. And let me tell you, it was wonderful. I don't know why I haven't done it sooner. Pure cookie dough, but like it's a sugar cookie. But it also could be like, I'm not going to say chocolate chip cookie dough, but it is like a pure cookie dough scent. Like you get that vanilla, that raw cookie dough, like Christmas baking cookie time. That's what you get with this. This one was super strong too. And I absolutely love the little picture on here. Oh, this was such a cute packaging. Um, but yes, super strong. I think I'm going to give this about an eight, eight and a half out of a 10. Wonderful. Made me fall in love with Mary Cookie. And I will make sure that I always have one. And I do have a lot of Mary Cookies from past years. So I need to start burning some of those. But that will make me make sure I have Mary Cookie. Okay, we have a love cotton candy champagne. I love this. There is something going on with this one. Oh, where's that? Okay, this one and blackberry cream frosting. We're going to talk about these two. So this is another one that I burned. There is a scent note in this that is like a cream. And to me, I feel like it's almost like a meringue cream type scent and it's in both of these candles so cotton candy champagne we have bubbly rosé sweet strawberry and pink sugar blackberry cream frosting fresh blackberries sweet vanilla topped with bubbly prosecco so each one of these have like a champagne type of a scent note in there but that's not what i'm getting i'm getting like the cream like i'm getting a cream note in these and it's not like, you know, the cottage cheese, curdled milk, cream cheese, not cottage cheese. I just did an Andrew's video talking about a lotion and I guess cottage cheese is on my mind. The cream cheese note that some people take is like curdled milk. It's way different. It is a cream, but like I said, it's like a meringue filling type note that is in both of these. And it made me fall in love with both. I do actually like the cotton candy champagne way better than the blueberry cream frosting. But I have backups of both, and I enjoy both. This one was good. The scent throw I wish was way better. I'm going to give it about a 7 out of a 10. But it did burn very well, perfectly. Perfectly down to the bottom, and then went out. Love that one. And this one burned well as well. Um, I feel like I see a little bit of, yeah, I see some sooting going on in there. Mm, big time. Some of these candles have scented a lot, but I, I love the little, you know, peekaboo glass that you can see the flame flickering in. This little bunch of snowflakes. And I just, I think it was just a different spin. It was a good new scent that they came out with. And I was happy to have it. And I do have a few backups. Oh, scent throw on this one. Um, I don't think it was great. It wasn't horrible, but it wasn't great either. So I think I'm going to put it out about a six and a half, six. Could have been better. Like I said, I have tons of candles this time. Next, I have Mazel Tov. This was Vanilla Snowflake. Vanilla Snowflake is tried and true to me. It is absolutely amazing. If you have never got Vanilla Snowflake, I urge you to do, to do so. So, it is a creamy vanilla and ice fur in a wintry mint with coconut flakes. I don't get any of the coconut, but I get pure, sweet vanilla but it's like a very fresh vanilla. It's not like an ooey gooey, sickeningly sweet vanilla. It's a fresh, and it's freshened up even more by the mint. So it's like a mint vanilla, but the mint is very far in the background. Like it's what you get at the very end. You do get mostly vanilla. So I would say it's like 80% vanilla, 20% mint. But the 20% mint is also mixed with like, a coconut and a fur so it's like 
it's like that 20% with those three scent notes and then the 80% of the vanilla. And it's just absolutely amazing. And I have burned this candle for years and years and years. Uh, I think the first time I burned it was like 2013. And I have loved it ever since. And I get it every year in every single packaging it comes out in. And the scent though is, mm, it is bomb. I would say about an eight and a half, nine out of a 10. Okay, next we have Harvest Gathering. Another one that I like to burn around Thanksgiving. Um, it is another take on leaves, but in a little bit of a different way. This is a little bit more, okay, leaves is pure Michaels, you know, Michaels, the craft store. And this as well, this has the same craft store type, but to me, this is just better. I like Harvest Gathering better than leaves. Oh, so good. So we have fresh picked apple, autumn berries, clove buds. Maybe it's like the berry mixed in instead of have leaves. It's just the apple. But it's so good. And it's always super strong. I'm going to give us a 9 out of a 10. And it burned great. No sitting at all. Okay, this is my Christmas candle. If you guys have been around for any time, you know that um, Ice Vanilla Woods is my Christmas candle. I have burned it every single year on Christmas Day since 2015 since my uh, fourth child was born. And this is just nostalgic. Like every time we burn it, it just takes us back to Christmas. And so we burn it every Christmas Eve and Christmas day. And we love it so much. It's wonderful. This is like lavender vanilla meets um, marshmallow fireside. And it is perfect combination of both candles. And it is super, super strong. Like this is a good nine out of a 10 for scent throw. And it always burns so good. I think I do see a little bit of sooting. And you can see this one burned a little bit longer than these two. Don't even care. I will always have this. And I will always make sure that I pick it up every single year in every packaging as well. I think we have two more candles. Oh, this is a goodie. Okay. This is salted caramel eggnog. This is insane. Ooey gooey pure melted caramel this is superior to salted caramel this has oh it's almost like the caramel is like so heated up you can smell the salt you can get that eggnog like it's like an eggnog that is filled halfway up with like hot drizzle caramel so good super strong i would always pick this over any type of caramel scent if you want a caramel scent definitely get this they may still have it on bathandbodyworks.com for clearance, and I would totally recommend this. This was a pure 9.5 out of a 10. This was so strong, and I have about two or three backups, and I'm so happy that I do. It is one of the strongest candles and a new candle that I have came across in a really, really long time. Oh, and we burned good, too. Got a little discoloration right there, but whew, this was a good one. And last, we have The Perfect Christmas. I like this. My best friend turned me onto this candle. Um, she had, did she have the candle or the wallflower? She had one of the two in her house. And she was telling me about it. She was like, it is the perfect Christmas scent, Keisha. Like, you've got to pick it up. And it is fresh cut pine, cinnamon sugar, and toasted marshmallow. So, cinnamon pine and marshmallow, like vanilla, those are Christmas scents. Put them all together in one, and you have the perfect Christmas scent, which is this. And it is to die for and amazing. Oh, it is so good. And it was super strong as well. About an eight and a half out of a ten. I burned this close to Christmas as well. And if you can't tell, I burned a lot of this um, collection right here. So we got this one, this one, and this one. This was a good collection. I like it. And I will always repurchase that too. Okay, so we are done with candles. I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, eleven candles. That's good. That's really good. Let's go through some wax melts. So I want to talk about these for a second. Um, I have made it one of my goals this year to get through a lot of my store-bought wax, like Better Homes and Garden. Sensationals, Yankee, um, Scentsy. Scentsy isn't store-bought. 
Like I need to get through my wax. I have about one, two, three, three full boxes of wax. They're getting old. They're not really coming out with any new scents that I have seen in the past one and a half to almost two years. So if they don't come out with anything new this spring, I'm cutting it off. Like I'm not buying any more. But let's go ahead and get started. So this is Moonlit Magic Pumpkin. This was about the last good, hefty release of new wax melts that Better Homes and Garden and Sensationals came out with. This came out in 2017, if I'm not mistaken. It's, it was a black wax. But it was pure. It's cologne, but not crazy men's cologne. It's got patchouli, very musky, very dark and sultry, pumpkin. Oh, it's just so good. And I think I have one more of these, and like that's going to be it because I stocked up on this scent. Um, I rate my wax melts from one to five on scent throw, and this is a spot on five. So good. Next, I have a Yankee Candle Apple Pumpkin. This is good, too. Um, I think I'm just played out of this scent. I do actually have a candle and apple pumpkin from Yankee that I, I need to burn through those as well. But when you have Bath & Body Works, you just don't really like to burn other brands. But I really need to do it. Um, this is good. Like I said, I'm just kind of played out. It's just another play on pumpkin apple from Bath & Body Works. A little bit more on... I want to say like a spicy pumpkin note with this one, but I would say about a good five. It's, it's about a five. I think these were getting old, so these probably were getting about a four, but when these are brand new, they are knock you in the face strong. Okay, is that all for my wax melts? I think it is. I think that's all. And now let me see if I have any wallflowers. Okay, so I think I only have two, just two. Okay, I have a fresh balsam. This is in my living room, and I actually don't smell this at all. I've never smelled it, so kind of sucks, bummed about that. This is a cotton candy champagne, and I do smell it. It's really good. Stocked up on a lot of those. I love it. Okay, so let's pump through the rest. I have a few hand soaps. Okay, I have a coconut mint drop. It was good, but I don't think I'll repurchase it, but I do like the bottle and the color. I have an Into the Night, absolutely adored it. I have one back up, would repurchase that. That was really good. I have a Winter, it was good. Um, I could take it or leave it, it was okay. And then we have a Winter Candy Apple Pocket Bag. That was good too, but I have tons of Winter Candy Apple Pocket Bags, so I don't think I need to repurchase that. And then just a few miscellaneous, and we are done. So we have a Herbal Essence Birch Bark Extract. Let me say, I don't use Herbal Essence on my hair. Um, my children use this, and they absolutely loved it, and I actually really like the scent of this one. Mind you, I have tons of boys, so to them, they're just like, whatever, Mom, get me whatever. But, I mean, the scent's super good. I have a Johnson's Clean and Fresh Conditioning Spray for Kids. I like this. I like to switch it up, though, but I actually would repurchase this, and it smelled really, really good. I use that for my daughter and my son's hair. And then I have a, compared to It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Product Complete 10, the Equate version. Loved it. Need to pick it back up. So good. All such a good scent. I really need to get more of this. And last... This is Garnier Nutri's Color Reviver 5-Minute Color Mask in Vibrant Copper. This is what I do to revive the copper color in my hair, and it works so well. So, so well. Very much recommend um, you to look at the line they have of this. They have tons and tons of colors, and it's just like a mask you put on your hair, and then you wash it out. Leaves your hair super silky smooth and soft, and it just revives your color. And I really like it, and it's better than having to put hair dye on your hair every month. So, I really like that, and I've already repurchased it. And last, if you just watched my other video, or you're going to go watch my other video, this came from that. This is Vanilla Bean Noel. This is a body cream from Bath & Body Works, and it is old. 
It is nasty. It is curdled. It is water. Um, I got about this far in it. Uh, I hate that I didn't use it all the way up, but what can you do? We can't put expired and curdled body cream on our bodies because that is a no-no. So I'm having to get rid of this, but that's okay. I got a lot of use out of it. And I love Vanilla Bean Noel, and I would get it again. But I think I'm just going to start steering away from body creams because they go bad so quickly. So, that was my empties for the past month and a half, two months. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.